Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna unbox another interesting toy. It's gonna be AMA Amplifier 2.1 channel, uh, Class D digital amplifier. So when you receive, you're gonna receive just exactly the same pack and all the links on the description. If you, on the future, you wanna buy it after I that build this amplifier, put everything together, test it. A Timpano 8 inch speaker, and we're gonna use like a Dayton Audio subwoofer, right? This is a woofer, but we're gonna use it as a subwoofer, and Timpano we're gonna use for the 50 watt test. These, these speakers is overkill on my test, I use these speakers, but on amplifier I'm, I'm, I'm trying to use, this is my DIY speaker, definitely first link on description, it's gonna be, uh, how is I'm playing this Bluetooth amplifier on that. So when you receive, it's gonna be exactly the same package and owner's manual. So on the owner's manual, nothing crazy, but a good side, the reason why I choose exactly this amplifier, it has RCA cable plus uh, a Bluetooth receiver and also audio, the interface. And this is all the, uh, the cases build on top and this is the amplifier itself so you have a uh, knobs controllers and some holders and this is the amplifier itself so this is pretty decent size and the 50 watt to two channel and one the one channel it's gonna be 100 watts so build quality uh, what do you say around 35 dollars guys so I can't complain uh, the main volume output and the bass travel, the balance, I believe, and the bass knob, the separate. So awesome, right? So here's the close up shot. All right, so this is the Bluetooth case, and the bad thing is on the Bluetooth case, antenna is very short. Let's put everything together. Everything aligned perfectly. Looks really nice. So if you care what is the leftovers, the little things, this ones, if you don't wanna use the legs, it's gonna be just on, on the bottom, the replacement for that middle things, I think, right? But we're not gonna use, without that, it came up perfect. So we have a nice, legs four side everything straight matches to the holes all right and the wall knobs everything is fine so now i think that this one is like a different color so it's gonna be main volume all right so this is the came up very easy like one to two to build if you know how to play the legos it's super simple uh, one press is gonna be turned on, turned off, and this is the volume. And you have a balance, treble at the base, and also you have a different knob for the base side. So let me connect the wires, and we're gonna start the running experiment, how it will be producing a sound. Everything is set already, so we have a DIY power, uh, power output is going on here, but this guy makes a lot of noise. So Timpani Audio 8 inch and Dayton Audio as a subwoofer, but this is the woofer. Uh, the Bluetooth connection is super easy. Bluetooth 5.0, it's connected. Dark. All right. I've never seen you clearer than it's, it's got the balance. So, uh, I gotta... Going out of ourselves, can I feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real, cause 
When we're doing our thing with the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 yeah Trip, 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 oh I flick the switch, kill the lights Oh, we say City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces Part of 70 volt maximum. Are you guys serious? This little thing is put puts up at 296 watts. I don't think so. So here's the deal, uh, the power output is decent, more than enough for this kind of package. Let's play some trap. This is a mid-range speaker. I'm giving the full range. Of course, it's gonna be a little distortion, but this guy was handling on my actually test for the speakers. This guy was handling the bass like no tomorrow. But this guy is the bassy guy. Let's see. 